Hi, we're, we're Joel and Leah. Leah. And we've been told to try Popeyes. So we've come all the way from London, England to try Popeyes in The Miami. middle of nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Literally, we've got an Uber all the way here. I think our Uber driver's like, why are you going to this random Popeyes in the middle of nowhere? But hey, we want to try it. We've heard a lot about it. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Right. Let's have a look at the menu. This is the first this time either of us so have been here. Popular, oh, wow. Okay, Shame so we're not in Louisiana. Oh no, they had a Megan the Stallion special, which is cool. This looks right on my street. Chicken's my favourite thing ever. What are you thinking? Um, definitely for the side mashed potatoes, because I know Ooh, myself, I love yeah. mash. Oh, it looks like they've got mac and cheese as well, but I'm not too bo bothered about that. Maybe like just some chicken, some mash, like do they do gravy here? Is that weird? Maybe, you could ask. I can find that. Look, you can see all the fried chicken over there. Yeah. Lovely popcorn shrimp with the two pieces of the tenders. Um, and can we get a spicy chicken sandwich with Cajun fries? What else? Oh, can I please have the mashed potatoes with my popcorn shrimp and two tenders? Yeah, I've does ordered it, that. Does it come with a side or do you have to? Yeah. Do you get a drink? Do you get a drink as well? I love mashed potato. And um, and then drink wise, can I just get like just a bottle of water, please? Okay, unlimited drinks. I'll never get over this in America. Will you, what Joel? Machine. Just the unlimitedness of it. Everything is free. Well, not free. Yeah. Everything is free refills. Oh no, it's funny you have to push. Oh. The germs. It's the germs for you, isn't it? it really is. is that enough Pepsi? And then I don't think they have water, so I might just have to get something else. I think this is that is, just ice oh, it's or? Just ice. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get some of this. That's some iced tea. Shall I? I'm sure it's very nice. Let's see. That will do. Cool. Oh well, no, you put it with your lid in there. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something that had to is wrong. just so me. Like, oh of course I didn't see the lid. Mm. Let's go and get a little table then. You want to sit here? Yeah. yeah. Or want to sit? Yeah. It's a bit dirty over there, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. Natural light. Lovely. So fish that out. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. I forgot to ask for gravy. You know what I'm like. Just be like, do you have any gravy with the mash? If not, it's weird. It's weird to put gravy on shrimp, isn't it? But I just love gravy with mash. I'm getting really into it. And the lady behind the counter was like, you're from London. And we were like, yeah. She was like, welcome to America. We were like, thank you. I said we'd never been here before, but I meant Popeyes, not America. But you know, and you can't want me to correct them. First time trying sweet tea, here we go. Oh, sweet, okay. I just heard Joel ordering me the side of gravy and I'm so buzzing. It could taste awful, but do you know what? I think this might be the American equivalent of KFC and the KFC gravy is really nice. Although there was a documentary about it that turned everybody off because they showed you how they make it and it was disgusting. But you know, you're only in Miami once, so gotta try this. Here comes the man himself, I think I can hear him. Hello, Hello legends. Hello. They, you're in luck. They have great though. Yeah, I heard you ordering it and I was like, yes. I was like, I could pay for it. And she was like, yeah, it's fine. Really? So free gravy. That's so sweet. And she said, enjoy Miami. She's so cute. Okay, what have we got then, Joel? This is the fries and the burger. Okay, that's mine. Okay. Oh, yeah. This, this is my free this gravy. This is your box full of shrimp, shrimp tenders. Oh, my gosh. And then we've got our biscuits with jelly. No way. Oh, and there's even a biscuit on this. You get it. <gasps> So we've got three. Biscuit. Oh my gosh, fun. Oh look, they give you plenty of ketchup, don't they? And yeah, some cutlery. So which bits are the shrimp? I'm guessing that's the shrimp, yeah, those are the, the tenders. That's the mashed potato. And that's the extra gravy. Fantastic. Isn't that quite generous, isn't it? So there's already gravy on the potato. Yeah, I didn't know that. She they don't tell you that, that, do they? Um, and also, Joel, how much were we looking at for all this then? What, what was, was the damage? dollars um, Yeah, that doesn't sound there, but my watch will tell me. Oh, I keep drinking that. I'm gonna have a heart attack. So it was 20 Three dollars, which means today we spent ninety-eight dollars. I wonder what we've wait. spent ninety-eight dollars on. Probably Ubers. Ubers. I think maybe Ubers. And That's food. the thing about this place. If you don't have a car, it's just all places and car parks, isn't it? It really is. I've gone for the spicy chicken burger. Oh I want to be as good as A and W in, in Toronto because A and W was stunning. And then look at these Cajun fries. They look really nice, actually. Mmm. But they do look a bit like. But it's fine. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. Ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. Everything. I'm so excited. Before we start, I'm just going to re-sanitise my hands and luckily I've got oh, yeah. a station right here. 
I need to do that as well. It just looks amazing in here. It's just up our street. Do you know what I mean? Well you done. Have to just air it. I love how many napkins they gave us. Also, what's funny, for the biscuits, we've asked for jelly, jelly. which we call this jam. Um, but it's in a sachet. I've never seen jam in a sachet before. In my life. Sorry, I'm right, having a moment. Okay. I'm going to go sanitize. Okay. Right, so what are you going to start with, darling? I think I'm going to start with a um, chicken tender. Go for it. Wow, it's the sport for me. <laughs> I think it's finger food, isn't it? I think it is. What? You look confused, darling. Is that chicken? You must have just got a crusty bit. Mmm, it's spicy. Is it? I mean, all is spicy. Spicy chicken. Maybe it's all automatically Maybe spicy. Yeah, look. Spice inside there. I did get a sign up there that said like it's marinated for 12 hours in loads of different spices. No wonder. But it didn't say spicy, it just said spices. No. Wow, okay. Let's see if they marinate the shrimp. Try it, shrimp. Everything's spicy here. Mm. If you're a pathetic girl like me and you can't do spice. Oh no. It's okay. Okay, give your mash a go because you're looking forward no, to no, the gravy shape. mash. Yeah. It's the colour of the gravy for me. I'm a bit worried. Okay. There's herbs in it. Have you even made mash spicy? Is there Spices any spices in spicy everything? Mash? I guess Louisiana is not the place for yeah, you then. Louis we can't go Louisiana. We can't go Louisiana because you're Louisiana. not going to be able to cope. Go, all I can eat is biscuits with jello. Do you want to try a peri peri, not peri peri, a what are they call Cajun fry? Cajun fry. I mean, can't just be a normal fry, can it? It has to be a Cajun fry. They're not that spicy, are they? That's my limit. Yeah. Pepper. Tops. Just Pepper, pepper. From salt and pepper. And then shall I try a bit of this? Is this gravy? Yeah, maybe dip the biscuit in the gravy. Really? Yeah, biscuits and gravy? Okay. Bi just for the video, you know. Gravy. Yeah. That's a savoury biscuit. What do you think? Stunning. Really? That's up your street. This biscuit's stunning. Wow. Do you like it dipped in gravy? I love it. Dip it again. This is like an we American... Love to see that. This is like... An American dream. A American southern dream. dream. This is the southern dream. It's also like, you know how on Christmas or any Sunday roast in England we have got like Yorkshire pudding yeah. drenched in gravy it's like that. What I imagine it's like in Louisiana Fantastic. Like biscuit. we're gonna have to go Louisiana but you're gonna have to bring a supply of food from England I just need yogurt at all times yeah I can eat that if I had the coolness of a yogurt I feel for you darling we're gonna have to find you a second dinner <laughs> Maybe. The Asian fries are so nice. They're yeah. nicer than normal fries. But I'm looking forward to this spicy burger. They had two options, a normal chicken fried chicken burger or a spicy one. So because okay. I can handle heat, I decided to go for it. So it's not the Megan the Stallion. This is a normal spicy Popeye. Mm. There is a bit of heat to that. Um, that is very spicy. I love it. I don't know if I think it's like any different to a McDonald's chicken burger or a BMW chicken burger. It's just a good fried chicken burger. Why do you think this place is popular? I think the spices, the mm. spiciness. And I like it because it does just chicken because I don't really eat any other meat other than chicken. And so I like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Can I try a popcorn shrimp? Of course you can. Just grab one like that. Tiny. It tastes very fried, doesn't it? Yeah. I know that's ridiculous to say. Yeah, that's ridiculous, but, but that, it's true. It just tastes more fried than shrimp. Yeah, should I yeah. try and find the shrimp in there? Yeah, go on. Leah's gonna try and find the shrimp in the fried shrimp. Okay, so let's try and find the biggest one. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look, he died so bad. Oh, poor guy. No, look how much fried no. you get. And tiny, tiny shrimp. That's the shrimp. And that's all the fried stuff you're putting into your body. Wow, it's just popcorn, fried popcorn. Crazy. Popcorn batter. Wow. What do they call batter in America? Batter. batter. Just, I always check and then it's always the same. <laughs> Ketchup, yeah. what do they call ketchup in America? Um, ketchup. Red sauce. <laughs> no, that's the UK. Oh. Right, what are we doing now, Joel? We're now having afternoon tea, but they don't have knives here. Leah went and asked. They just have sporks, but I think I've done a good job. You've of done that. a really good job of that, I think. And the next will be spreading the jelly on it, but do you want to cut yours? Yeah, I'll, I'll cut mine. This is afternoon tea a la Joel and Leah. Oh, fantastic, they've cracked right open. Okay, so ja jelly I'll time. I'll just jelly. I'll squirt the jelly. Obviously, I have had a savoury version of this earlier. Oh my god, I've got the best idea. Yeah. Are you going to see the best idea you've ever what? seen? Watch this. Oh, you're just going to... Oh, wow. Now that is how a British person does afternoon tea. 
That is offensive, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I might use both sachets right now. The queen would be rolling in her grave. Imagine if the queen saw this. If she this. was dead, but she's <gasps> not. I really hope by the time this video comes out, she's still alive. Same. She'd be so proud of us. The queen would have loved this trip. The queen would have loved papayas. Yeah. Try it then, darling. It's grape flavored jelly, which we normally have strawberry or raspberry or blackcurrant. We don't really do grape jelly or grape no, jam in the UK. Great. Said it before, it. I'll say it again. Their scones or biscuits are better, and we do better jam. Okay, so if we joined forces, it would be incredible. Mm. Joel, taste test. Right, I need to do this jelly trick. Okay. You ever done it like this before? I just don't know what jelly is, and it freaks me out. <laughs> Freaks you out. Where's the proper, you know, condiments? Imagine me and you watching this back in the future. We're thinking. Gonna be mortified. Okay, taste test. Mm. Mm. It's not it for you, is it? The grape jam. No. No. And I'm going to disagree with you, Lee. Here, although actually, I think these biscuits aren't very good. When we went to Nashville, and we had the Loveless biscuits, like the Loveless cafe. They were nice. Incredible, really doughy and thick. These ones are just quite crispy. Yeah, I do love it when they're really soft. Mm, we love the soft ones, but so, this is the closest we'll get to an afternoon tea in the UK, so I'm happy. When we went to the Loveless Cafe, was that in mm -hmm. Florida? That was Nashville. in Nashville. In yeah. 12 South, and it was so good. I've lost track. But again, they serve like apricot jam, and it's just like, that's so not really good. traditional. We like, just love a strawberry. Mm. Just a bit of strawberry mm -hmm. jam on your, on your biscuit. Do you like how salty this tastes on your tongue when you eat it? What, the bottom bit? Mm. No, I don't. No. I don't think it was for me, guys, to be no. totally honest. I, I'm not sure I'd ever put that in my body ever again. Too spicy. I mean, it was very <laughs> fried, wasn't it? Very, very fried. Very fried. But really good hangover food if yeah, you're into that. Potentially. I was, I was glad that they did biscuits, though. That was a nice surprise to have a British afternoon tea at the end, oh my which God. was very us. <laughs> Forgot um, that. It's nice to end on something sweet, so we had to stick a load of jello, jelly, jam, whatever you call it, yeah. all over it. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap on Popeyes. Yeah. Yeah, so, thanks, thanks for so having us, Popeyes. Us. $23, not bad. Not bad, eh? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please subscribe. We post videos thrice, thrice weekly. weekly. We also have memberships for bonus behind-the-scenes content. Yeah, we do lots of these sort of taste-testing videos, fast food, slow food as well, sometimes. Slow. Uh, so join slow us if you want to. <laughs> and, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.